ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة Another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Surah Yusuf. Inna allaha Inna allaha ghalibun ala amrihi Allah Inna allaha Indeed Allah ghalibun ala amrihi ghalibun ala amrihi Whatever his command is no one is able to overpower Allah in that. Allah ghalibun no, you see, when there's any battle uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if anyone tries to battle with Allah and his, uh, and, and his awliya, then remember that verse. The, the person has lost the battle before it's begun. Before it's even begun. Why? Because Allah said, Allah said, Inna Allah ghalibun. Ala amrihi. Allahu Akbar. His command is his command. His affair is his affair. So fear not. Except Allah. So have certainty in Allah. That he's able to aid you. He's able to soothe your heart with kun fayakun. He's able to bring you out of darkness into light. He's able to strengthen you. He's able to aid you. He's able to protect you. He's a- no one can harm you. No one can harm you. SubhanAllah, we gave a lecture in Manchester many, many years ago. Over 10 years ago. Wallahi, ikhwan. We gave a lecture. And then after that lecture, I had to go up north. Further north from Manchester to Durham. I got lost on the way. SubhanAllah, ikhwan. I got lost on the way. And then, I went into some small roads and I saw police come behind and they stopped me and they said, where are you going? I said, I want to go to Dar. And they said, no, you missed the road. You should have gone down this road. So I went on to continue. I got late. So I said, I'll just stay at some petrol station motel or something like that. You know, just any place. Because it's getting late, nearly 12. And subhanAllah, got to this motel and parked the car, walked to the, the place. And there were three hooded people coming towards me. Allahu Akbar. I say, then you know your, your iman, if you've got iman or not. A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tamati min sharri ma khalaq. A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tamati min sharri ma khalaq. Bismillahi ladhi la yidru ma'asmi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi sama. Wa huwa sabi'i al-alim. And then I looked back, they disappeared. So I pulled up my thawb, because you've got to be ready. You can't fight with the thawb. Huh? <laughs> I pulled up my thawb, I tightened it as much as I could. Ready. For any, any, what can you do? You know, they will obviously, they probably want your money, they probably stab you, they probably, you know, whatever. Inna Allah ghalibun ala amrihi. No one can defeat Allah. And Allah aided me that day, subhanAllah, and I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I ask for his forgiveness for my shortcomings, and Allah aided me that day. Because as I'm trying to knock on the door to get into this motel, the guy's asleep. I'm knocking, I'm ringing. They're coming and I can hear the creeks coming towards me. The, the twigs breaking as they, as they move closer towards me to ambush me. Subhanallah. Then the guy comes, opens the door, closes it and they grab the door. One second. Inna Allah ghalibun ala amrihi. Allah saved me. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. So ya Abdullah, never lose hope in Allah. Never lose hope in Allah. There are times of difficulty. There are times of hardship. Inna Allah ghalibun ala amrihi.